If you're on a Saturday morning, April 2013, as a journalist, we've been reporting on bedroom tax, conditions of housing, and the lack of housing issues. Are those social issues something that you'll find real zeitgeist issues here in Park and elsewhere in the country? Well, the great thing about me being able to come here is that Polly has invited me here to listen in a way rather than to tell people the answers. I'm getting a bit of feedback about people being worried about casualisation of work, zero hours, contracts, things like that. But at the moment what we've asked the groups of women we're talking to is to tell us what would make the most difference to their family so that when we do get a Labour government we can actually change things for the people in this town. That's what's necessary. So we mentioned something about casualisation of work. What exactly does that mean? What that means is that people might be officially employed but on a zero hours contract and what that means is you can't get another job and you don't know when you're going to be required at work but you have to turn up if there is work for you and that's very difficult to organise if for example this is a group of women who have family responsibilities if you're looking after your grandson or it's half term and school holidays at the moment and you're looking after the kids, then you can't necessarily go in. So it causes real stress to people actually managing how they can get through these things. And if the only work you can get is that kind of work, and that's increasingly true now, what it doesn't do is respect the fact that you have responsibilities not just to your employer, but also to your children, to your grandchildren, to the rest of your family. Do you get the feeling I'm speaking to Tories that they think the bedroom tax might be a, a vote winner about anything else. Well, the point is that for a lot of people, a very high proportion of the bedroom tax is being paid by people who are disabled. And actually what they are doing in uh, housing benefit reform is treating everybody as though they're the kind of same. And actually the whole point about a system like this is that we need to recognise that people's family circumstances are different and we need to respect the complications of people's lives and unfortunately what's happening with the drive to make the people who depend on tax credits and housing benefit and so on pay for this recession and the financial crisis rather than the bankers who made it pay for it then what happens is that everybody suffers who's dependent on housing benefit rather than anyone in particular.